Monique and I'm back today with another video. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below and turn on the post notifications so you'll be alerted whenever I post a video. As you see by the title, you guys are here to see how I achieved this look. These faux locks that I did on myself and um, yeah, I love them. They turned out really cute. So stay tuned to see how I got this look. So as you can see, I already have my hair pretty much almost completed. Um, I just have these few at the top, which I'm going to do on camera with you guys. I already plaited them. Um, sorry if you hear that noise in the background. It's my heat, but it's really cold outside today. Um, so I already have my hair plaited. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my free twist braid hair and deep twist and... What I'm going to do with that is, maybe I should scoop back. I'm going to take this hair. This is the pattern it comes in, just like this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to split this in half. So this will be for one braid, this will be for the next. And I'm going to actually take this and split this in half again. So you'll split it twice. I'm going to pretty much extend it. So I'm taking this first piece and I'm pulling it down. So where the short piece is in the middle. Same with the other side. Pretty much. So you have two little ones and two long ones. So what I'm going to do is I am going to figure out which braid I want to do. Maybe I should do one in the front. I already did this one because I completely forgot I, ex I extended this one already. So I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. And I'm pretty much just going to take this hair and wrap it around and split it with my real hair as well so whereas I will have my real hair in the middle and the two pieces of braiding hair on the side and I'm just going to braid from there and when I get to a point where my real hair is getting short I'm just going to pull a piece of the free dress braiding hair and separate that and continue to braid I'm not going to braid this whole thing all the way down. I'm pretty much just going to braid it until where like my natural hair stops a little bit past my natural hair. Or where the short pieces stop. Doesn't make a difference. However you want to do it, this is how I choose to do mine. And to make this easier, I am going to go ahead and uh, attach all of my features braiding hair to all of my plaits right away so I can make the wrapping process faster. Okay, so I'm going to take my Marley hair, the Cuban twist hair, and separate it. Because you don't want it to be perfect. Nothing about this hairstyle is perfect. And just to let y'all know, this is my first time ever trying these on my head. So, um, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job for my first time. And I think that's why it took me even longer to do this because I had no idea what I was doing. I watched a few videos, but then I just figured I was going to do what worked best for me. So now that I separated the top, and here's the whole piece. I think I want to make it a little thicker. So let's make it a little thicker. Here's my first piece. I'm going to take another one and split that and just take one piece from it. 
and then I can use the other piece for the next one. My battery's gonna die? What the fuck? Okay, so I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna do this quick, and wrap this around the top part, literally the top piece, and I have this piece hanging up, and here's my long piece. So then I'm gonna take the short piece and wrap it one more time and then I'm gonna hold it down with this hand here. So then I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to wrap this going upward just to cover my root and then I'll go back down. And this is because I don't want the top of mine to be like really skinny. So I kind of wrap it in. I wrap it a few times so it can be secure but however when you go back down you'll be covering that short piece so you know that the whole whatever these lock is secured I was gonna call it a dread no dang well it ain't a dread but so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch hands and I'm just going to continue to to wrap and go down and I do use jam as I'm wrapping when I feel like stopping and dipping my hand in there. <laughs> Makes it just a little easier. And I'm gonna keep doing this and going down. I may have to take a break and charge my camera, but it's just repeated going down. And you wanna make sure when you get to the part with your real hair at the bottom, make sure you wrap that part very tightly and make sure that you cover your hair because you do not want your hair to come out of this. But if you're wrapping properly, it shouldn't. have about this much hair left so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this end piece as it gets a little thin I'm going to wrap upward just to finish this off and I don't have my lighter right here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to wrap this little string and here's the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just take my hands and rub it together. And then I will take a lighter and I will burn it really quick, just the end piece. And that's it. My camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna go charge it and I will show y'all a few more when I get some juice. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I did some more of my braids while my camera was charging the little bit of juice that I did get. So I pretty much only have these three to go and of course they're already got the braiding here attached so I can just go ahead and wrap them and what I do recommend because this process this is a process however I recommend if you don't have as much time to braid your hair like this first and then wrap it the next day or pretty much do half and half I wish I would have did that it would have saved me some time but this was a spare of the moment kind of thing so um yeah now we're here Separate that as you know in the beginning. Take a little jam on my fingers. So we're gonna go with this one here. We're gonna do the same thing. Split this in half. Well, not split it in half, but take a little piece and wrap it at the root. I still have to look to see what I'm doing. So at the root and take the small piece, pull the long piece this way or whichever way you wanna do it, whichever way is easier. And just wrap the small piece about two times going down the braid. Now that doesn't have to be perfect. But then you're going to take this part, the longer part, and go ahead and start wrapping. 
and make sure you get the root about a good two three times and when you're wrapping I'm literally taking this the, the Marley here and kind of spreading it like this and put my finger behind it like my thumb behind like this so that it wraps flat and it spreads when it wraps I'm not just wrapping big chunks so as you see when I wrap it I take my fingers these two and I grab it and then pull it. and I'm holding it really tight ready to unravel when you let done you will have a big fat throw up At this point, I'm wrapping up. And it is gonna be tight as you're twisting and wrapping. But once you finish and roll and burn, it'll loosen up for sure. And I'm just gonna repeat this process. So guys, this is the final look of my faux locks. I actually love them. I love the size they came. I thought they were actually gonna be smaller, but it's like, it's perfect. I love them. Like, tell me how y'all think I did for my first time. What do you guys think? My forehead is so big, but um, I'm trying to get some good light. My ring light is down a little low, but. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. If I did a good job on a scale of one to 10, let's do that. On a scale of one to 10, let me know what y'all think of my faux locks. And I would like to thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to your girl's channel. Follow me on Instagram at I am Ariel Monique. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all.